More than 17% of American children are overweight. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Roy Baldwin with the Healthy Lifestyles Foundation. Thanks so much for being with us. It's great to be here. When we hear about a, a percentage, more than 17% of American kids, that equates to about 12 and a half million American children. But the percentage is even higher here in the Commonwealth. Right. Uh, unfortunately, Pennsylvania is about in the middle of uh, the 50 states where it, as far as the t statistics for overweight and obese children. So again, uh, we have our work cut out for us. And unfortunately, you know, the trend is not going down. It's not level. It's still going up. And you're working in conjunction with your son, who is a doctor and works on these types of issues, to really get the message out there that kids have it within their own power to make a difference, not just for now, but for their health long term. Right, because, you know, overweight or obesity at this point in their lives, you know, can lead to um, heart problems, diabetes, mm -hmm. arthritis, and even uh, pancreatic cancer. So it's really a healthy lifestyle. They need to act now mm -hmm. to be fit for life. Okay, so you're undertaking a 420 mile bike ride going from Pittsburgh to Philly and really stopping along the way to get the word out to kids in their schools. Right. Um, what I would like to do is have, you know, the community around those schools and around even in the region, you know, to step up and be part of this message that we're trying to get across of uh, prevention of obesity in children. And that can be in the uh, form of, uh, you know, doctors getting involved, uh, local uh, clubs, local health organizations, and again, uh, you know, bikers coming and joining us for a day ride. Okay, let's explain how this actually works. It's October 4th to the 10th. You start in Pittsburgh, you're biking all the way to Philly. Along the way, you stop, have assemblies at different schools to really get the message out about what you're doing. You say it's more about the message than about the bike ride. Right. Um, you know, the bike ride is something that came natural with me and my son because, you know, we're quite active and we enjoy biking. So that sounds novel, and so we decided to do that. But, you know, that's not the point. The point is, is the children mm -hmm. and the fact that they really need help, and especially the children that don't usually hear this message, the children that may go home from school, sit down in front of a television set and maybe snack on chips and what have you. I mean, those are the children that really, we really, really need to meet. We have the, the cardboard image here of, of your son who was really the catalyst uh, behind starting this foundation, starting what's going to be a 420 mile bike ride as well. The idea is to get kids active, get kids engaged, but you're also encouraging other people who are already cyclists to get involved with this ride. Right, um, people that cycle um, they represent a active uh, part of the community. And, you know, when I say activity, it doesn't have to be cycling, it doesn't have to be a team sport, it can be something as simple as walking. Mm -hmm. And if you combine activity with good nutrition, um, the children are going to be much healthier. Okay, so this is October 4th to the 10th. On the 7th, you have a roundtable discussion about the issue of childhood obesity. Uh, that's just part of what you're doing. You're also asking for the community to get involved, not just through riding, but by supporting these young people in the decision to lead healthy lifestyles. Right, there's many community organizations that have programs that deal with this issue. And, you know, they can have a much greater effect than we can. Mm -hmm because we're just going through the state. You know, they're here, uh, they're established, they have programs that deal with obesity and overweight, and what we want to do is promote, you know, those organizations, you know, as well as what we're doing. We just have a few seconds left, but if people want to get involved, obviously they can visit your website, but you're encouraging people to ride even a portion of the ride with you. Correct. I mean, um, you know, we love to have people involved, and uh, we're very inclusive, so, join us. All right. All right. Good luck with the 420 mile ride as well. Thanks for being with us. We've been talking with Roy Baldwin of the Healthy Lifestyles Foundation. I'm Jill Horner.